Mobile games have come such a long way guys, with the brand new release of Gangster 5, also known as Gangster New Orleans. This is an online open world game created by one of the most respected mobile developers, Gameloft. Also, this is absolutely free guys, so let's jump straight into it. I will have the links in the description below to check this out on both iOS and Android. This is 822 megabytes to download, so make sure you have the space on your phone and make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, guys. But I've played through a lot of the Gangster series in the past, and they've just progressed so much in the last couple of years. This one here has the graphics of a triple A title. I'm not even kidding. The graphics are beautiful. The soundtrack is also really exciting with relevant songs from nowadays, exciting, upbeat songs. We also have some interesting, unique songs that they've created. The soundtrack is full of life, the game is full of life, and the graphics are just beautiful, guys. So one thing I would like to complain about, which is something I seem to experience a lot of the time with these gangster open world games, the frame rates are a bit of an issue. We have some frame rate drops. We also have some issues with draw distance. So textures pop in out of nowhere, objects pop in out of nowhere, and it kind of ruins that immersiveness. That's just something to expect from this game. Um, and I feel like as we've seen the progression of these open world games, seeing San Andreas and Liberty City Stories hit the App Store, that was beautiful. And they had really perfected it to the point that you rarely experience draw distance issues or any sort of frame rate issues. Now, I cannot wait to see what Rockstar are going to do in the future. But this one is very close to GTA 5 graphically in terms of how it runs and everything. It's exciting to see that we can expect GTA 5 on a mobile device in maybe 5-10 years, which is insane to think. GTA 4 is going to be coming soon. I hope that that's going to come for their coming anniversary. We can expect it maybe at the end of the year or maybe in a year or so. It's really not that far away. Um, graphically, this game is beautiful and it's on point with GTA 4, I feel. Sometimes it does feel a little bit clunky, the movements are a little bit clunky, the textures do pop a little bit, um, but overall the experience is great. Another thing that you've got to think about is the controls. Now, for such a frantic game, these controls, these um, fully engaged controls where you can move around, where you can turn the camera, where you can shoot, where you can hide, you know, hide in cover or whatever, jump into a car, it kind of becomes overwhelming with pure touchscreen controls. Now. This didn't have um, controller support when I tested it, I'm sure this will be available in the coming months or whatever, um, but for now I was playing it purely on the screen and it didn't actually feel too bad guys. You have this auto lock feature that locks onto the closest enemy, you can also tap onto enemies if you want to lock onto them, so it will change your camera angle as you start shooting, which actually makes it relatively pleasant. Now that's a little bit of a different story when you're kind of running around the streets and trying to uh, jump into a car or whatever, but you will get used to it and it is quite an engaging game. Now the thing that really made this game interesting to me was the setting. New Orleans is beautiful. There's varying scenery and some interesting locations to explore. We also have this new turf raid system. So you can actually take down certain areas, certain turfs, and then you can put up bodyguards or people to protect that area, and then other people can raid it, and you've got to protect uh, the percentile of that area, and it becomes really competitive. You've got all these different areas to explore. If it gets increasingly harder, you can unlock new weapons, new vehicles, new characters, and it's really fun, guys. You can also make your own path. It is completely open world. Uh, you can create your character, and you have lots of customization options as well. You can equip, fuse, and evolve hundreds of weapons, vehicles, gangsters, and more. And besides those few issues in terms of how it runs, which it's only version 1.0.1, so after a few updates, it may run a little smoother after the support of the controllers. I'm probably going to enjoy it a little bit more as well because it is quite a fast-paced game. Um, but overall, for a free application, guys, uh, AAA graphics, an awesome immersive soundtrack that makes you nod your head. It's a gangster game. It feels like a gangster game. There's some cool cutscenes. The voice acting as well is actually grade A. There's some really cool voice actors that engage you. It doesn't feel like a half assed production. It feels like something they've put their love into. And you can see that from the progression of the gangster series. Now this is Gangster 5. I've played the majority of the others and it's great to see where they're going now. Graphically it's beautiful, whatever engine they're using, it runs really well and it's exciting for me to see where mobile gaming is going to
going to go. Cannot wait to see what Rockstar are going to do. I'd love to see some other bigger developers getting on board for app development, releasing fully fledged titles. This game here, seeing as it is free, it does have a little bit of a freemium feel to it. You can purchase weapons, you can purchase kits and whatnot, um, but you don't have to. So far, I haven't bothered at all and I've progressed uh, quite a way through the game so far. So it all depends really. If you get into the game, you know, maybe support them a little bit. Gameloft are a really awesome developer. They've been around for years since I started my channel. I remember loving Gameloft with all of their releases and they're just getting better and better. They're producing better things. They're endorsing better products. So I'm excited to see where this goes, guys. Thank you so much for watching, though. Um, I would really love to know what you think of this game. Personally, why not? Just pick it up. It's absolutely free. There are a few issues, like I mentioned. There are a few beautiful moments, a few awkward moments. A few moments where the gameplay mechanics feel clunky, but overall, just to experience a AAA title or the graphics of a AAA title on such a small device, I'm playing this on my iPhone 7 Plus. Technologically, this is really exciting to see where we're going in terms of mobile gaming. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a splendid day and peace out.